Above all, the 911R stands for maximum performance for extremely lightweight design. The R previously stood for racing. At Porsche, the 911R stands for an unfiltered driving experience. The 911R has a 500 horsepower engine that can rev up to 8,500 RPM. Very similar to the engine we use in our purebred race vehicles. Naturally, it performs with little strain due to the weight of the car. It weighs 1,370 kilograms with a full fuel tank. And this shapes the driver's impression of the vehicle. It has some really powerful forward propulsion. We developed a six-speed manual transmission for the 911R, which has modified gear ratios and short shift paths, and responds crisply, forming a perfect unit with the car. In the 911R, we also offer the option of a single-mass flywheel. This is the flywheel between the engine and the transmission. It gives the engine additional pep, which is also very fitting and very good for this engine and vehicle. We have saved weight everywhere. We have thin glass windows and many exterior skin parts are made of carbon fiber. We have a magnesium sheet metal roof, which is actually an innovation in the automotive industry. We have very lightweight seats in the vehicle. We do not see any navigation unit in this vehicle or an air conditioner. We were able to pare down over five kilograms of insulation material in the interior, including in hidden areas, that is, under the carpets, under the package tray, and in adjacent areas. You can see this in the doors, too. We have straps that are used to open and close the doors, similar to those in race cars. We have used carbon fiber and lightweight parts throughout the vehicle and in the drivetrain. This extends to the engine and wire harnesses, which we made very lightweight for the car and we eliminated everything that was not absolutely necessary. And so we realized weight savings that produced a vehicle whose dry weight is around 1,250 kilograms. And that is, I believe, the lowest weight that can be achieved in such a vehicle today. The 911R of 1967 was a special car in that this principle of lightweight design was systematically implemented and produced a car that weighed 800 kilograms with a power output of 210 horsepower. The car could accelerate to 100 kilometers per hour in just over five seconds and had a top speed of nearly 250 kilometers per hour. These were sensational figures for the late 1960s. Some serious measures were taken in the 1967 version of the 911R. All materials that were not absolutely essential for driving were removed from the car. No glove compartment, no storage bins, nothing more than a large tachometer, speedometer, steering wheel and transmission. Each and every part was examined multiple times to figure out how it might be made lighter. Holes were even drilled in essential parts so that some material could be eliminated and every gram of weight mattered. Initially, the 911R was primarily developed to race in the Gran Turismo races of those times. Certainly most familiar to the general public, I think, is the record drive of 1967. The vehicle was driven for 96 hours at Monza, more or less at full throttle, and it broke five world records. Shortly thereafter, the car finished as overall victor at the Tour de France, and this put the 911R in the history books. The 911R of model year 2016 has a lot in common with the original 911R of 1967. We find some of the classic elements in the interior of the 911R. We have, for instance, reproduced the green numbers on all of the instruments that were used in the original 911R instrument cluster. 
We also have a small 360 millimeter diameter sports steering wheel with a very special design and a matte black finish. Naturally, one of the prominent features is the sport bucket seats, which we have equipped with a very historically accurate and familiar Pepita upholstery pattern. This adds a very beautiful touch together with the very high-end leather on the sides of the seats. The driving feeling in the 911R is one that we never had in our GT vehicles before. Here we pair a nearly purebred engine derived from motorsport with extremely low vehicle weight and a manual six-speed transmission. From this perspective, it is a car that can be enjoyed along every meter of the road, and I think that is what really makes the car special.